I just started to cry. I literally just started bawling, and that had never happened to me. Announced that she's mm. gonna be getting a divorce. Yes. Does like a half of your heart break yeah. for her? Um, you know, I support her. I see Corey as my partner in crime. You know, it's like, I'm not doing this alone. Like, you really are my best friend. I, I can't even, I can't even visualize myself, you know, without Corey. Tia and Corey's divorce has been quite disappointing because their marriage was one of the most celebrated black marriages in the industry. And we've all been wondering what could have been so bad that led to their separation. Well, for one, we all believe it was perfect because they always did everything together. But it turns out it was all a charades for social media. Also, there's a rumor that Corey cheated, but Tia hasn't confirmed that yet and given any clue that infidelity was the problem. So let's talk about the actual issue they did have. We'll be going all in. Welcome to Gay Bible. Make sure to follow our Instagram for live drama and all the last way guys. You see, Corey wasn't just a newbie in the industry at the time they met. The dude was also broke, like broke, broke. He was living off his paycheck from a local Kmart where he worked at the time. And that's not all. He also owed the California state government thousands of dollars because he collected unemployment benefits illegally. He was in a very low state when he met Tia and Tamara while they were shooting Hollywood horror. And according to Tamara, Tia didn't fall in love with Corey at first sight. Corey began the whole thing by approaching Tia, and after eight solid years of being together, they got married in 2008. But a lot was fishy about their marriage, because before they actually tied the knot in 2008, Tia insisted on getting a prenup, and she had her family support on it. So basically, she didn't trust Corey, and always had suspected that he would one day come after her assets, and he eventually did. Talk about gold digging. Tia filed for a divorce on October 3rd, 2022, and she informed her fans on IG, say, I have always been honest with my fans, and today is no different. I wanted to share that Corey and I have decided to go our separate ways. These decisions are never easy and not without sadness. We will maintain a friendship as we co-parent our beautiful children. Although she didn't reveal the reason for the divorce, fans sniffed through and as always, they found something that might interest you. They said Tia pulled out because she was tired of being the only one that pays the bills and still invests time and energy into keeping the family together and that Corey cheated. However, he denied the cheating allegation when he posted lies on his Instagram handle, but his actions lately strongly suggest that Tia indeed was the one putting in all the energy. Tia's actions lately have also hinted that money was the reason she pulled out. She liked the video on the neighborhood talk about partners who refused to pay bills and even dropped a side eye emoji suggesting that she relates to what was said in the video live here so you you're not gonna pay it wait what so what would you do if i wasn't living here with you how what would you do i would pay the rent and all the bills exactly so why do you need me to pay the rent and the bills if you can do it by yourself it was your idea wait, it was your idea to move in together so you're not gonna help pay any bills you know i'm in between jobs you know i'm allowed to put in five applications and why'd you move in with me with no now, everyone that knows Tia knows she isn't the messy type to go throwing shade at any chance she gets. So this was way out of character for her. And it's a pity because she basically took care of Corey while they were dating and continued doing so even after getting married. That was just too much for one person to bear, don't you think? Well, the divorce got finalized six months after they announced their separation. And the court decided that Corey will be getting the kids every weekend from 6.30 p.m. Fridays to 6.30 p.m. Sundays and at least two days during the week. They also stated that the duo will share tuition and extracurricular costs per child. From the looks of things, Tia wanted their separation to be a peaceful one. She even signed that she won't be taking spouse support from Corey and that she won't be giving him any. She also respected the court's decision of having the kids over during the weekends and even told TMZ some time ago that she and the kids were spending time with Corey and reaffirmed that no matter what, Corey remains part of the family. I mean, I know, you know, spending the holidays, I mean, do you plan on spending the holidays maybe with, with Corey? Yes, or? we are. We oh. are going to be spending the holidays with him, which we're really excited about. Oh, lovely. Yeah. With the whole fam, I love with the that. the whole family. I mean, you know, after the divorce and everything, do you think more families should like, you know, be together, be united? during these times, like especially during the holidays? I mean, family is family, no matter what happens. 
and that's what's important to me. So we will always be family. She sure handled the situation well, but Corey, nah. He had his balls fixed on Tia's assets and even wanted to receive spousal support from Tia, but didn't tick the box that said he would pay alimony in his court filings. Also, remember the prenup agreement Tia arranged before their marriage? Corey fought against it after their divorce was finalized. According to the court document they delivered, Corey and his lawyers asked for the determination of the validity of the prenuptial agreement dated April 14, 2008, and or that our provisions are unconscionable. He basically wanted the prenup declared invalid and that made everyone confirm their assumptions that he was in for Tia's money big time. He won the fight against the prenup, but he touched the lioness's tail by his actions. Tia, who wanted a cool separation, became super angry and asked the court to grant her everything that belonged to her. Now, she didn't just take the huge assets like houses and cars. She also took every penny and little stuff like airline miles, rewards points, and all other credit card points on credit cards that belonged to her and entities owned by her. Her requests were granted sooner than it would have been because she had no community assets with Corey. She definitely outsmarted him. A source revealed that after the court granted Tia her request, Corey became super frustrated and sad because things didn't go as he had planned. They also revealed how entitled he was to Tia's money. Imagine that. Now maybe he would have had something from Tia if he didn't go fighting legally. He had her sympathy, but then he proved with his actions that he cared about Tia's money more than he ever cared for her. Also with that, he confirmed the public suspicions that all the love he had for his ex-wife and possibly even his kids was nothing but lies and were probably just said on Instagram Live for public sympathy. Beautiful family. Love my kids, love my wife, I love all you guys. Tia is disappointed with the turn of events. From her actions, we can tell that she wanted her family together, but couldn't help it. She confirmed that it was one of the hardest decisions she ever made in her entire life. She also revealed that she had to take the decision partly because of her kids. In a post she published on social media, she said, A part of my decision was also for them, for them seeing their mother walk in truth. She further said, If they see that mommy can do it, that mommy no matter what people say, no matter even if there is some doubt, whatever, mommy pushed through. They can say my mommy is living and chasing her truth. I want my children to do that. I want them to see that it is okay to have a bad day. I want them to see that it is okay to chase your joy. I want them to see that it is okay to live your truth. As expected, the entire Maori family, as well as Tia's twin Tamira, has her back. Announced that she's mm. gonna be getting a divorce. Yes. Does like a half of your heart break yeah. for her? Um, you know, I support her. You know, right now she just kind of just wants to, you know, just kind of just process it all, take it all in and, you know, be a little private about that. Yeah. And, you know, as a sister, you know, yeah. I'm just going to respect. Who wouldn't, though? Also, Tia's family aren't the only ones supporting her move. She also has her fan support. One of them wrote, Tia was so private about everything during the divorce. I'm glad she had nothing financially tied to him. Smart move, girl. He walked in with nothing and left with nothing. He was not a man. He was a little boy mooching off his wife that loved him, but all he saw was dollar signs. For Tia, the divorce seems to be the case of a lioness leaving a cage situation. If she was footing the bill all these years with no assistance from him, she sure deserves a break. But what do you think about Corey and his attitude? Do you think he deserves a dime from Tia anymore?